Well, interesting coffee with this morning. It's a, it's a fascinating gentleman you're going to meet. His name is Stan Mazarov. Stan, welcome Hi, to WJZ. Good Thank morning. You. How are you? Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Thanks for, for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, of a, course. A Paris life of Baltimore treasure. Now, it, at first you may think to yourself, okay, this is as dry as nachos at a ballpark. <laughs> no. The remarkable lives of George A. Lucas and his art collection. But there's such a Paris connection with the Cone sisters, with Lucas. And then you get into this international community of expatriates that live there. Gertrude Stein, Ernest Hemingway, in this general era. Right. Fascinating. Right. And Lucas uh, himself lived in Paris most of his life. He moved there in 1857 at the age of 33 from Baltimore. And he remained there until 1909 when he died. So he was a major player in the art world uh, in Paris during that period. And he represented most of the wealthiest and uh, important collectors of French art, like William Walters, William Vanderbilt, they were his clients. Hmm. Now, and of course, Walters established the gallery, which later became the museum under Gary uh, Viking. Uh, and now we've got the BMA. The book, of course, is the Baltimore treasure, the story of him. But how important to the BMA that a member of the audience may walk into in the next few days? How important is this to that? Well, uh, the, it, it's hard to believe, but uh, Lucas, while he was representing these great American collectors, collected for himself 18,000 works of art. 18,000? 18,000 works of art. And the 18,000 works of art belong to the Baltimore Museum of Art now. Mm. Most of them are prints, wonderful etchings by artists like Whistler. And uh, visitors can make appointments to see these terrific etchings. There are also many paintings, pieces of sculpture. And the BMA has had this collection of uh, and owned it uh, since the middle of the 1990s. And it's an important part uh, of, their, of the museum. You know, you in, in a different life practice law at the highest level with one of the most respected you, firms in the United States. Thank you very much. <laughs> to bring business to a city, you're representing clients trying to get industry and whatnot. Having a BMA is big on the resume, isn't it? Or a Walters, or a visionary. Yes, I think it is. I think that the cultural history of Baltimore, which has always been rich from the early 1800s, is an important part of the city. And the Baltimore Museum of Art, the Walters Art Museum, are phenomenal museums and major attractions to anyone who wants to live here or do business here. Wow. And for them to have this, this work. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and you can make appointments? I didn't know that. Well, you can to see the prints with the, with the Baltimore Museum of Art. I mean, you're not representing the BMA. So no, I'm not to, representing the BMA. But I guess you just call them up and mm -hmm. say, hey, I'd like to find out mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 What six years of research, you said. Yeah, I, the book, the book uh, took about six years uh, to research and write. It's been published by Johns Hopkins University Press. They've done a wonderful job in helping me and supporting the project. And the Baltimore Museum of Art and the Walters and Maryland Institute all were tremendously supportive in the project. Of course, I worked on it here. I worked on it in Paris. It was an interesting project for me. Right. I always love reading the first few lines of any book. This is what's going to bring What's it say? <laughs> on February 24, 1904, in his Parisian apartment, overflowing with paintings, prints, and sculpture, George Lucas looked into the eye of the camera and posed for his last portrait. Wow. <laughs> and there it is. Mm -hmm. That's pretty wild. Yeah. Actually, that picture is at the Baltimore Museum of Art. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, available for mm. uh, Hopkins Press, available is your favorite. Is it online yet? It's online through Amazon or be at, at, a, at the Ivy Bookstore as well. Okay. The Ivy Bookstore, fantastic yeah. place on Falls Road. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks Thanks for yes. Oh, the, the bleeding, the pleasure's all ours. <laughs> you know what? We talk about community connection. This is what it's all it's about. Mm -hmm. This is what's in your backyard, folks. Yeah, go so see it. It's a very big deal.